right, time for Sports. Jordan's here for Mark tonight, and uh, we'll call it March Madness, our version of it. It starts tonight at McKinnon Gym. Yeah, it's one of my favorite days of the year. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Hyde. The Uvic Bikes men's basketball team does not lose very often on their home floor, as evidenced by their 10-1 and regular season record. Tonight, though, impressive stats no longer matter as the most crucial game of the season goes down at McKinnon Gym as the Vikes tip off the Canada West playoffs against the University of Manitoba. And the time for hard practices is over. The Vikes are concentrating on the game plan and putting up shots, lots of shots. Game one of the three game series tips off tonight at seven and by no means will this be easy. Manitoba beat Uvic in their only meeting of the season in Winnipeg. The Bisons boast a great point guard, a strong post and they like to get out and run. The Vikes though have gotten better since Christmas and this time round will be buoyed by a large, loud crowd. The home court in all levels of college sport I think is very big and uh, this week is, is no different than that. We're 10 and 1 at home and we have played well at home. I think it gives us a slight advantage. I mean, I think we'd be fooling ourselves to think that that's an, an advantage enough that we don't have to be out, be very good. It's all, all the marbles, we're just going to put it all on the court and guys, I feel like honestly we had such a great practice and great week, like guys are just ready to go. And it's, it's amazing that we came off two wins off UBC. So. We're just gunning for everybody else. And how can you lose when you've got vampire heartthrob Robert Pattinson in the lineup? Doppelgangers aside, the Vikes unleashed Brandon Dunlop in last weekend's regular season finale against UBC. He returned to the lineup this season after a three-year hiatus, and they'll count on his veteran savvy again tonight. We pulled him out of the hall, you know, almost, you know, in the in the fall, just with injuries and whatnot, and really helping us both on and off the court. Uh, I'm not really too worried about my role. If if it comes down to it, and they need me to hit a couple threes, or if I got to be on the bench cheering my guys on and taking on that leadership role, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to, to help the team. Like, when you hit a bunch of threes and the and the crowd's into it, and and you kind of, you know, going into the playoffs, it's it's how 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 can you not be excited for it? One of the best Big Vikes best women's team in Regina tonight take on the big bad Regina Cougars big as in six foot two post Brittany Reed Regina the number two team in Canada also getting it done from outside this three ball gave them an early five nothing lead the Vikes first bucket is a long deuce from Jenna Bujardini but it was the outside shooting that proved to be their downfall tonight Vikes just three of 18 from beyond the arc while the Cougars were eight of 13 that's trouble. In the end, the Vikes fell 70 to 57. Cougars lead the series one game to nothing. Game two goes tomorrow. It's hard to avoid playoff basketball these days with Island High School championships happening up and down Vancouver Island from single A up to triple A, even up to CIS. It is a furious weekend on the hardwood. Girls triple A Islands happening at Dover Bay Senior Secondary and Nanaimo Oak Bay are the heavy favorites in this one with Claremont, Mount Doug, Stellies and Spectrum also representing the South Island. Vanier, the host from Dover and Alberni round out the field from the north. Here we're looking at Mount Doug and Spectrum. No big upsets to report as of yet, but the hope uh, the hosts hope that happens tonight. Hoping actually tonight that we might see our first upset of the the tournament, you know. I'm I'm hoping tonight that uh, we actually face Oak Bay in the semifinals tonight so we haven't had an upset yet so um, i'm hoping we might see our first upset tonight the big final runs tomorrow night at seven both teams in the finals will advance to provincials so something had to give today at the pack west men's volleyball championships as camosin took on viu in the semifinals in cranbrook camosin took the first set but viu stormed back to take the next three and advanced to tomorrow's final victoria royals have little sympathy for the canucks in their four game trek they just finished a massive six game 11 day jaunt where they took four out of a possible 12 points now the royals have been on the road for nine of their last 11 and finally Finally tonight, a chance for the Royals fans to see their team. They take on the red, uh, the red hot Kelowna Rockets in the first of a two game series. They've been on fire definitely this whole season and uh, you know, uh, they, uh, they put a licking on us a couple times in their, their barn. So, you know, they're coming in here uh, this weekend and hopefully uh, we can return the favor for them. It's going to be a real good test for us. Uh, obviously losing, losing the last few games on the road trip and, and a team that uh, we've struggled with. I think we got 12, 12 games left uh, till the end of the season. And every game counts. It's going to be uh, every game's the biggest game of the year from now on out. And uh, we're going to be ready to play, and uh, it's going to be a good two games. Face off is at 7.05. We'll have highlights for you tonight at 11. Victoria Cougars went 45 1 and 2 this season, and the dominance continues in the playoffs. Last night, game one against Peninsula, Sam Rice 
sets up Mark Walton for the power play goal to make it 1-0 Cougs. Later on in the first, play it again, Sam. This time he spots Mark Walton, his second of the night, and the Cougs have an early 2-0 lead. Now the Panthers wisely call a timeout to try and get things back on track. And what do you know? It works. The coach looks like a genius when this works. The puck is poked through to Jackson Skerritt in the slot. He will beat Evan Roche to make it 2-1. Second period, Cougars, they just start to pull away. Wade Johnson breaks in two-on-one with Robert Zadra. Johnson will rip it over the glove of Panther keeper Stephen Heslop. 6-2 is the final as the Cougars grab a 1-0 series lead. Game two of this series goes tonight in North Santa. A couple of head-to-head -head island matchups highlight a busy Friday in the BCHL. In Nanaimo tonight, it's a battle for second place as the Bulldogs to move to within a single point of the Clippers with a victory. Seven o'clock face-off at Frank Crane Arena. And in Callwood, the Victoria Grizzlies host the Couch Valley Caps. The Grizz holding a one-point edge over the Penticton Vs for top spot in the BCHL. The Canucks and Predators uh, scoreless after two. All right. Well, have a good weekend. Thanks. Enjoy. You as well. Enjoy. All right.